Warcraft today in 2024 is the perfect casual player MMO. There are so many new changes to the game, especially in the past year, that have made me feel so comfortable just enjoying the game at my own pace and only logging in like once or twice a week and actually feeling rewarded for it sometimes. Now, could you be more serious at any time and play more competitively? Yes, absolutely. But I'm here to express how much I've been enjoying The War Within in the whole past like year of WoW as someone who last time I did a Mythic Dungeon, it was like season one of Dragonflight. I just really don't like mythic or raiding content. Never have. I used to be a PvPer when I was younger, back in like Mists of Pandaria, world PvP was popping, and then Warlords of Draenor came out and everyone started sitting in their garrisons. Anyways, um, first, it was really the trading post. After Shadowlands, I really stopped playing World of Warcraft a lot. Didn't have the opportunity to play during Legion, unfortunately, but I did during Shadowlands and I just didn't play during Shadowlands. And then I came back for Dragonflight. I liked it, but I just mainly the trading post was cool. You know, I'd log in monthly at least and see what there was to do and what I could buy with the tenders. You just fill up the activity bar. It's like really easy. Um, I was a little skeptical whether or not the War Within was going to be like Dragonflight. Because the first few weeks, I liked it. I did a lot of quests, played the story, and then yeah, just like logging in monthly. Magically found myself only playing a little bit. Was really hoping the War Within wasn't going to end up like that because it was just like, man, I don't know if this is really doing it for me. And yet, surprisingly, now, WoW has on me on some sort of, like, weekly schedule. It doesn't feel too demanding, honestly. I'm quite far with all my reputations already. They aren't going anywhere fast. I'm enjoying going at my own pace, getting cool rewards. And also, the armor upgrades from the vendors, it's, like, really easy. You do the reputation. And, like, if I get a higher reputation with Hollowfall, I'm going to be able to replace my blue wrist guards with some really nice purple ones. The upgrading systems, it's really quite nice. Um, just focusing on weekly record, uh, rewards for the reputation grind through world quests, kind of like Dragonflight worked. But this time around, because of the fact they made it so delves and world quests count, Towards the weekly vault from the bank, I have been further rewarded as a casual player. I don't do any mythic dungeons at all. However, my current gear score would be a phenomenal start if I, for some reason, wanted to. Everything else in the game is quite easy for me. Never have many issues at all with killing things like world bosses. Just waiting for a few players to show up and everything I enjoy doing in the game gets done in a timely manner. Um... I was helping someone the other week level a character through time walking dungeons because they bought the War Within and uh, their character they chose to boost. They didn't enjoy playing, so they made a monk. The monk starts at level 10. We did follower dungeons until they were level 30. Um, that was pretty fun, just getting instant cues and some of those dungeons done together, just the two of us. You could obviously do that alone also um so you could level up completely ignoring other players but i have to highly recommend doing time walking dungeons when that event is around it's a weekly event that seems to happen like every month or so the person i was helping level their monk went from level 30 to 60 in just a few hours so it's really an easy character leveling option it's very fun doing old dungeons for nostalgia too or if you've never done them before it's a treat Here's a cake on top. When you purchase TWW, they give you a level 70 boost. You get back into the game, have fun, you know, you don't gotta worry about it. Granted, you choose a class you enjoy. And you know what if you don't? Aside from the time walking, World of Warcraft's 20th anniversary event is about to start. I'm really excited for it. Because all players automatically will be receiving 10% XP and reputation buffs. 
during the event starting on October 22nd. Apparently, there's a quest called Celebrate Good Fun by an NPC named Yelana. Um, it's a daily. It'll add like another 10% experience to the total. So I think that means it would be like 20% every day experience and reputation. Like that's... Aside from that, if you already have a level 80, uh, Warbands give XP bonuses to your alt characters while you're leveling them, so. Every character that is a level 80 starts at 5% and it can stack up to 5 level 80 characters. So, an achievement earned 5 Warband Mentors will tell you if you've maxed that bonus out. And you can turn on War Mode and get even more experience, 10%. And then... Hollow's End is going to be starting. The Brew Mount is going to be instant cast uh, as a reminder. And you can receive another two hour long XP buff by clicking the Wicker Man Bonfires. That starts October 25th all the way until November 8th. So it's really cool. It's just a lot. It's a lot of XP bonuses. And um, Dark Moon Fair happens after Hollow's End ends. The bonuses are like everlasting. It would be a crime to level any characters without some sort of XP bonus right now, so be sure to do your homework. Work smarter, not harder. The game has all these wonderful ways to save you an extraordinary amount of time to help you get to max level with multiple characters. Ultimately, allowing you a very wonderful reward of bonuses for both your main character and the other characters in the same warband. So please, if you for some reason quit WoW at some point because you hated playing alone, you felt left out, you only had time to play like once or twice a week, you still wanted to log in though and just collect cool mounts, participate in passing events, the holiday stuff, you want to feel a part of World of Warcraft even though your real life is a bit too busy for you to do too much. I think you should try it out. It's a wonderful journey, and you can take it on totally by yourself. I feel like a lot of people I've spoken to recently expressed they stopped playing WoW because it was a game that required them to be in a guild or at least have a few friends uh, to do anything important at all worthwhile in the game to be spending 15 or so a month. And like, back before this news expansion, I couldn't blame them. But a lot of them are people who have not yet tried the War Within. And I know a lot of people are looking also, like who might have not tried World of Warcraft, for a very casual, friendly, time rewarding MMO experience that also doesn't feel like the game's going to flop over and die anytime soon. My biggest issue, trying out any new MMOs lately. Everything, it's all fun and cool. Maybe the first month after the game releases, and then everyone's bored. And they, no matter what that MMO does to try to update itself, it, people don't really give it like a good try again. Like it never, it's always based off what it was when it first released. Um, and it makes me not want to invest any time, and especially any money, into a game. I feel I'm playing for such a short amount of time before it becomes irrelevant. And this makes even the short amount of play experience not very fun either in a lot of those like free to play, play to win games, you know, like at least all the money I've spent on my World of Warcraft account, it's it's there. It's shown to me like basically every week I log in, you know, like I, I don't know, like they made it so all the mounts that can use the new flying mechanic. So I can fly something like my Ashes of Alar I got in 2012. Or finally, I just got the Violet Proto Drake and I can, you know, fly that around. And just being able to use these things that I've gathered throughout the years in the game or things that I'm just now finally earning because like I said, the trading post is quite new. It's, it's really cool. Um, it's a reward that I can't describe how happy it makes me feel, nor do I think I'm going to be able to find it in any other MMO. So I'm just very thankful that World of Warcraft has stood the test of time. 
And I don't think any other MMO is going to be turning my head away from WoW for a very long time. Example being, I'm so happy I've been preoccupied with WoW. Because so many people I know who asked me to try Throne in Liberty with them, they've already quit, or they sound very burnt out, or bored, or they're having issues, and they're all having fun. <laughs> Flavors of the month will come and go. But World of Warcraft is forever.